The novel coronavirus spreading across the globe has some in the U.S. nervous as 11 Americans have died of the infectious disease and 153 have contracted it. That's where we begin. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rich Pierce. And I'm Kate Davis. And thanks to one university, you can stay ahead of the virus and track its spread in real time. News 9's Gage Golding is joining us live now with the latest on this technology and how the coronavirus is impacting the Ohio Valley. Gage. Good evening, Rich and Kate. Thank you. Students and professors at Johns Hopkins University have come out with an interactive map that uses real time data to show where the coronavirus is around the world. The, uh, the information so up to date that health officials right here in the Ohio Valley are using it. It's a good tool and that's what it should be viewed as. You can rely on it to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. Howard Gamble of the Ohio County Health Department says the map is an important piece of technology in his team's office. So not only do we see it and view it, but we've used it to provide information. The map uses data inputs from organizations here in the U.S. like the CDC, as well as information from organizations around the globe. Users can get up-to-the-date information on cases in specific cities and countries. And the map is really easy to use. You can just pick a location such as here, King County, Washington State, where there's 31 confirmed cases and nine deaths of the coronavirus. And if you don't have a desktop computer, you can even use the map right here on your smartphone. Some area residents we spoke with say they're torn on whether they'll use the map or not. I know it's a concern of a lot of people, uh, myself included, so I think that would be nice to see kind of where it's at. Do you think you would use that to help, you know, make sure that your family is safe? No. The coronavirus really doesn't scare me. We've seen cases of the virus pop up in cities around the country, but what about right here in the Ohio Valley? We monitor individuals as reported to us by CDC and the state health department. Monitoring turned into a real life scenario last week when Gamble says a patient who showed all the right symptoms was isolated at Wheeling Hospital. He couldn't tell us specifics, but Gamble said the coronavirus was ruled out early on. The test was not needed, so it was a good practice on all the systems. However, this won't be the last dry run. It's going to happen again. That doesn't surprise me, but see what they can do to contain it. I mean, I'm not at the point where I feel like it's really hit home yet. But don't get your masks in a bunch. The risk remains low here in the Ohio Valley. When I asked Gamble if surgical masks and hand sanitizer were needed. No, it's not, especially hand sanitizer, because you should be washing your hands. As far as masks, unnecessary unless you are sick. Rich and Kate, we know that the patient that was in isolation at Wheeling Hospital last week has since been released. We'll post the links to these maps on our website, WTOV9.com. Reporting live in Wheeling for News 9 tonight, I'm Gage Golding.